All right, welcome back, everybody. We are now in episode 13A. This is the scavenger run for episode 13. And so we're going to go ahead and run this. And let's have a quick look around here. We've already got eyes on a mind fragger. We got one, two, three crates, four crates, five crates, all in one side of the map. No, six crates kind of in the middle there. That's not bad. We have only half the map to cover. So I'm, I'm liking how this is looking already. Ready. All right. So we have one mind fragger that we have eyes on now and we want to deal with him before he kind of becomes a problem. I don't think we can actually get visual on him eh, from here. We can, I don't think it's going to be a great shot. Let's see what, let's see what Rebecca's shot looks like just out of curiosity. It's right back behind that rock there. Rebecca's standing up. She's got eyes on it. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Okay, we're going to have to uh, see about getting a lot closer. Maybe what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll set up a good overwatch just nice and close here. Eden, same thing. Let's pull you over to... Eh, Eden's not very fast. Um, we have quick aim, right? Or not quick aim, but... Uh, Extreme focus, yes. Okay, so she can actually make two moves and then overwatch with her sniper rifle. And I don't want to overwatch out into here because he's so low to the ground. If we're sh if he happens to move in such a way that it's over one of these barrels or over this fence, we're going to miss him. And he needs to get right up on us to be a threat to us. So we're going to just overwatch this far and that's it. And I don't know if I want to do that with Eden. Uh, let's look and see what Eden's... Oh, yeah, Eden's okay. I was worried a little bit about his accuracy and maybe hitting Rebecca there. but So we're going to do that. And then we have plenty of room to get the, uh, get the Scarab through there. So I'm going to go ahead and run the Scarab just up to these guys here like this. And we're going to deal with that mind fragger before we do too much of anything else. Oh, there's a, uh, there's eyes on a Arthron Scourge. So he's got the grenade launcher and that's not, that's not great, but he doesn't have eyes on us yet, really. So I think we're okay with him. We'll, we'll have to deal with him next turn probably, but for now we're okay. Um, I'm just going to leave the scarab right here. I don't want to pitch missiles that way because he's by the crate and and also he's in the building. So we're just going to let this mind fragger come out and do what it's going to do. A little delay there for some reason. Yeah, see, he's inside that building, so I don't think we'd have been able to hit him with missiles anyway. Uh, see, he... He doesn't even have eyes on us yet. He doesn't even know we're here. So, and neither does the mind fragger. That's an interesting move. We'll take the opening though. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pile everybody into the scarab and we're just going to run for the uh, first set of crates here. Actually, I don't even have to uh, get the scarab probably. Can you get here? Uh, she, that's Rebecca. Rebecca can get there and even have an action point left. Alright, more enemies spotted. We have eyes on two Arthrons. We've got a Scourge and a Brute Alpha. Both of those guys are going to be a problem. Fortunately, they're standing right next to each other. So that's going to be good for us. All right, good haul. I didn't get her uh, 
inventory cleaned out. We're going to have to come back. We want, uh, we at least want the missile probably, and maybe the Camara grenade too. That's fine. We can do that. All right. So let's do this. Let's first, before we do anything, let's see what our shot looks like from here. It's kind of a long way to these guys. I don't know if we would, we could probably hit them both. That's a shot that's worth taking, I think. Um, the only problem might be this tree. We might hit this tree or this tree for that matter. If we pulled a little bit farther forward, that would give us a slightly better angle on that. So maybe we're going to do that. So let's get um, Matilda or Fabiana rather. She's not in any position where she's going to be able to shoot anything. So she's going to get in the truck. Same thing with Eden. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Scarab to here. And then I'm going to take that shot. And that way we have a little bit better angle through those trees. It's not much of a difference, but it's a bit different. And so it's a little bit better of a shot, I think. So we're going to just try and drop these missiles right between them. And hopefully we kill them both. That looks good. That looks really good. Now we didn't get his gun. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look and see what we actually did before we end the turn. Turn the camera here a little bit. Oh, they're both bleeding out. Never mind. They're both dead. All right. Good. All right. Let's end the turn. That's how we like them. Grouped up and crispy. Have a little deep fried Pandora. And, oh, here comes the mind fragger. Now he knows where we are. There's another one. Yeah, Scourge heard that one too. He's going to investigate. <laughs> There's another Triton foot pad. That's ah, cheap. No hits back. We just took 10 damage off of that. But, uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Hello, Chiron. Brute Alpha, he's not really a problem for us yet. Well, we're not passing this up. We can get the uh, we can get the Chiron and the uh, Mind Fragger in one shot. We'll take that. Actually, let's real quick before we do that. Let's make sure we don't have a better target. I don't think we do. Everybody's kind of spread out. Other than that, so let's go ahead and take this. Start working on this uh, Chiron. All right, Rebecca. Um, hmm. I maybe should have moved Rebecca first. Uh, Scarab can still move, actually. So what we're going to do, how far can Rebecca go? That seems really short. Oh, she's okay. Yeah. So we're going to just get the Scarab up a little bit so Rebecca can climb into it. In fact, what if we did this? What if Rebecca, she can only move to here. I can't get the, I can't get the exit on her if, if she's standing there. So, okay. Um, okay. Well, he's not going to hurt the, he's not going to hurt the scarab too badly, if at all. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And then we're going to turn sideways a little bit so that Rebecca can get in and dump this material. And I might go back for that Fury Missile. I don't know yet. I don't have Fury Launchers, so it's not that big of a deal if I don't get it. We could live. We could definitely live without it. So let's let's get offload all of this stuff here. 
And then while we're doing it, let's see if these guys have anything else either that they need to get rid of. Let's get rid of this. She can get back in and pick it up if she needs it. Okay, and then I should have grabbed a handgun for Eden. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's turn. Can we turn the scarab around? All right, do that. And then let's get her out. Let's do... She doesn't have quick aim yet. She's going to have to take laser pistol shots. Shot. I want him to turn back toward us. There we go. Now, if I miss the head, it hits the torso. Is there any armor? Yeah, there's 10 armor left on the torso, so I'd prefer to hit the head. Okay, and then she can get back in. And then what we can do with Eden is we can get him out and he can throw a grenade. Watch this. Do you have a better target? Oh, his throw range is garbage. All right. I just did the uh, I just did the mutoids uh, video that I put together and those guys had 35 strength and they could throw grenades like clear out to here. It was ridiculous how far they could throw them. Now this guy, you know, with half the strength, he's thrown to about here, and that's it. It's, uh... Okay, there's that. And then, can we turn our front armor? No. Alright, that's the end of our turn. This guy's gonna hide in the corner, I guess. Uh, Mine Prager is no threat to us at all. Not while we're in the Scarab. We're okay with him being there. Although I might. I don't know. I think the Chiron's good enough. I don't think we need to waste time. Oh, well, now that's an interesting little development. They might have just blocked us in with that. I mean, we could go back around this way, I guess. That wouldn't be the end of the world, but I don't think I can go this way. I have to go around them. That's not great. But I don't think we need to use any more missiles on the Chiron. Um, his armor's pretty shredded, and he's only got... Yeah, I mean, his armor's almost completely gone. He's got one leg that's still got armor. He's bleeding 50. That's pretty fast. All right, so I want to probably actually deal with this brute. I'm more worried about him than the Chiron. Um, I don't think if we put missiles right here, so we could pull back just a little bit, I, but I don't think if we put missiles in here, uh, well, the first one might take the wall out and then it might hit the Minefragger and the Triton. I don't know. I don't think we can get both, though. Um, what else do we have? Still have a Scourge up there. Not so bad. All right. Um, before we get too excited with the man, with the, with the Scarab, let's see what we can do with Rebecca. Because she's point blank range, she might be able to just shoot this guy up with her assault rifle, and that might be enough. I don't think one set of shots is going to do it, but 
let's let's take the shots and let's see what it looks like. Yeah, she's got a really nice shot on his arm here. This could kill him easily. Eh, it didn't kill him, but... And he's not going to bleed out, but his claw is gone. And his spitter head can't hurt the, uh, the scarab. So, good enough. Alright. So that's good enough. Now, um... These guys are just going to explode against the Scarab. I don't need to waste time shooting them. Um, unless I want to move. Which, at this point... I don't know if it's worth moving for this turn. Uh, I think we're going to put a couple more shots into him. With the laser pistol. Get another 100 damage on him or so. Might throw another grenade. Mike's got... Uh, sorry, Eden has one more grenade. I I really messed up when I didn't give him a handgun. Alright. Okay, you can get back in the truck. And then we're going to turn our front armor this direction. Because the foot, the Triton foot pad is still there and we still have this guy up here that could shoot at us. So let's uh, give him our strong armor. And I think, I think we're not going to bother with uh, Eden's other grenade right now. So these, yeah, like I said, these guys are just going to move over and explode against the the scarab, and they and they can't hurt it. So, in fact, he's going to kill his own guy there, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe they're not going to explode. I didn't think they were that smart. I've had worms explode against the scarab before. Well. Either way, we don't care. Yeah, he spit acid at or spit poison at us. We don't care about that. He can't hurt the scarab. His pincer certain his pincer certainly can hurt the scarab, but yep, and that's why we gave him the front armor. Took five whole damage there. This will be a little worse because he shredded a little armor. No, nope, we're good. Lots of misses there. There's going to be some more. All right, uh, they don't have us blocked in anymore. Okay, a little damage from his melee attack there, nothing big. This is saying we are blocked in. Okay, well, hmm. The only way I can turn is this direction, which puts our guy over here. Actually, it'll put him here, which will give us line of sight to that worm. So we should be okay still. All right. And then let's get Fabiana with her laser pistol. More than enough to deal with a worm. Uh, we might as well... Let's see where where's... I didn't see where that one was. Okay, that's in that's the not the direction we care about. Okay, we are going to move out of here. Can we have a decent shot on him? Not really. 
like to disable his head, but uh, it's not a huge deal. Okay, we're going to put another shot into him since we're out and doing it. He's going to be dead in another turn or so. All right, now she can get in, back in. And we should be able to get out of here. Yes. So we're going to start rolling away from these worms because they're causing us some issues. Just in the fact that they're able to block us in like that. Again, why your multi-ton scarab can't run, run over a fireworm or two, I don't really know the answer, but uh, they can't, so that's okay. That is okay. All right, we're going to take care of this tyrant, I think, since we're right next to him. But we need to be careful. Now, does he... I think he has a gun, right? He has a gun, so he's got return fire. So we do have to be careful with this, and we need to make sure that we can actually kill him, or we need to get rid of his gun. Neither of which is a guarantee. Not a great choice. Um, and I don't really have a shot at his actual arm that's very good. Do I have one more move? Oh, I do, but I won't be able to get back in. And then that mind pragger's right on top of me. Much farther can the scarab move? That's it. Boy, if she doesn't get it done, she's going to take a machine gun to the face at point blank range. And it's saying it's not a kill. That's got to be a kill. We do more than 80 damage. Yeah, that that has to be a kill. Oh, well, what's the arm what's the armor on it though? That's the question, I guess. All right. The gun has 80 hit points. No armor. Unless it gets the... Uh, the arms don't have any armor either. So there's no armor. Our, our weapon does more damage than that. This is the... Yeah, we do 30... We do 180 damage. That must just be a... That must just be the uh, arrow doesn't quite fill up the thing there. This should be fine. And maybe not. And disabled arm. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, that's really weird because it should have. Uh, we we do like 180 damage. I don't know why that didn't. Uh... All right. Well, not great. Not great. Let's uh, let's give him our front armor, and I guess we'll see what happens.
Okay, that's all right. Hmm, two of those guys. Scarab's starting to get a little beat up. But they're grouping up nice for us here. He's going to be dead next turn. He'll probably... Well, he's almost definitely going to be dead next turn now, because I'm going to shoot a missile at him. Jeez, here comes another one. All right. This is not what I would call a perfect mission so far. Um, all right, we can pull back here just a little bit. That's fine. Keep going. And then we can drop a missile right in here. Hopefully it's not short. All right. Now we're talking. He's dead. He's dead. Minefragger survived. He's going to die this next turn, too. Got a few fireworms left there. They don't care about them so much. Uh, mm. Let's turn this way. I'm going to, since we are able... Well, okay, first thing I want to do, I need to get her out and med-kitted and then back in. Okay, she's good. Well, good-ish, anyway. All right, and then I want Fabiana. I want to kill that Minefragger. Or at least disable his head. Good enough. Okay, we're almost out of this, guys. We're almost out of it. Well, one more turn. I think we'll be able to get both of these guys, maybe with a missile next turn. And uh, that should lighten everything up for us a bit. Fragger coming that way, that's okay. No worries. One more brute alpha. He's gonna take a swing at us. Brute alpha's not as big of a deal. Alright, what do we got? Uh, one more shot. Can I launch him into there? That's not really a very good shot. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come to 
here. And then we're going to turn this way. And then we're going to get... Fabiana out. And we're going to see if we can do something to this guy. There we go. Disabled that arm. He's not a threat anymore. And we're going to try this shot. I don't know if this is going to work. We should get this guy at least. We probably won't get the guy inside. But we're going to give it a try. This is our last round of missiles. Oh, we hit him once. He's panicked. He's no good. He's not quite panicked yet. Still have a threat back here, so I don't want to get Eden out. And it's... That makes it tough, losing that arm. Um, well, I might have... Uh, uh, we can still get up this side over here. We're going to have to come clear over here, though. Yeah, that really messed things up. All right, so let's just be done here. Oh, there's a Miss Sentinel up there. I didn't even know he was there. Well, this isn't going to be a perfect run by any stretch, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to get everything. But we'll get some stuff for sure. Just have to keep an eye on the Scarab's health, because there's still one machine gunner up there. Yeah, you can spit acid. That's not really hurting us. It, I mean, it, poison spit does a little bit of damage. We took 15 there, but it's not a significant amount. All right. So we have some options. We can come back here, get up this ladder and go for these two boxes, but we still have a bad guy in here. And I don't have anything in the way of long range firepower to deal with him at this point. Um, unless we get Eden out and leave him out but there's mind fraggers around and I don't necessarily want to do that either because I don't want him getting mind fragged. How are these guys doing for Will? He'll, he'll panic. He'll panic. He'll panic, maybe. Uh, depends on what we kill. Three for 16 there. I could drop a grenade and kill all four of these worms. That would be minus four willpower to everybody. But it's only a turn, really. Maybe two if, if the uh, computer decides to have them recover. All right, let's do this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move the scarab over this way a bit. Um, I'm going to start here. Okay. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Eden get out. And I'm going to have a grenade here. Uh, we can get three, not four. But we should get all three. Did that panic anybody? No, I guess they don't lose willpower for worms dying. I guess that makes sense. All right, back in. Okay, and then we're going to drive the truck over to here. And then turn it around. Uh, we still have a little bit of movement. Oh, I can't run over the... Hopefully they're going to be able to get through there. Do that. All right. Well, with your one arm, you can still get out of the truck and you can still climb a ladder. Right? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her here. Tell me I emptied her inventory. I did. Good. And she has a grenade, so she's not completely helpless at this point. Um, I'm not going to put her up top because this guy's still there. So next turn, I should be able to go one, two, pick up, or three, and then drop back down on the fourth, I'm hoping. So let's stop her there. Um, we're done with that. Um, Eden, I think you're fairly safe to get out. Oh, you already did get out of the truck. Never mind. All right. So, all right. Good enough, then. Let's just be done here. Actually, you know what I could do? You know what I can do? Let's get her out. She's still got her sniper rifle. That'll be good enough to take out that guy. So we're going to get her out, and we're going to move her over here, too. Tuck her right in there. Pretty safe. Um, Going to have an overwatch this way. Just in case that mind fragger decides to come play. All right, let's do that. I think we're okay here. We got this Miss Sentinel crapping all over the place. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, there's something over here. I didn't see that ping. Oh. He stopped just short of the uh, Overwatch, which is good because I didn't want to shoot him. He's not too much of a threat. A little bit of a threat. Actually, he could poison my guys. That wouldn't be best. Oh, no. Okay, well, that changes the story. That changes the story a lot. Whew. Can we deal with this with our current situation? So Mike, not Mike, Eden, is in the truck with his heavy weapon. He could, what I could do, I could pull the scarab forward one, one square. He could get out, bash twice. And then Fabiana can take out the head. What's her shot at the head look like? Really good. Uh, no, she does not have quick aim. So, oh, she's not going to be able to take the head out, though, because it's uh, 160 health. She could finish him. That wouldn't be terrible. But then she's stuck here. All right. Well, it's all going to depend on kind of what uh, Eden can do with his bashing. I, I think we might have to just leave... That's fine. Take your shots. All right. First of all, Eden, you jump out. 
And let's. Eh, it's not great. 100 damage. Minus armor. Okay, back in. Whew, we're in a bad spot here, guys. This is not going well. Um, how'd we do? Two arm hits. Nothing to speak of there. That's very exciting. Um, well, we have three hundred. We have three crates already. If we stay, um, this thing's going to mind control one of our soldiers. Or it's going to keep beating up on the Scarab. The Scarab's down to 300. I think at this point, discretion is the better part of Valor. And I think we load the guys in the truck. And we just drive out of here. Because it's not worth losing a Scarab. There's mine fraggers all over the place here. This, this thing's going to go south in one more turn in a big way. So we're just going to evac. We got three, we got three crates. Which isn't great, but it's better than nothing. And we're just going to uh, make sure we don't lose anybody over this. It's not worth it because we can get pretty much everything we need from trading. It's really not worth losing soldiers or equipment in these in these scavenging missions. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.